Welcome to the team deal. Be inside. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to the TV Dome. This is the one and only broadcast that uh, tries to give you the impression of being inside a 360 degree visual space. Now, um, you can try it at home, see if your TV set is of rubber, rubbery material and try to kind of stretch it around you like a big hood. And if that, if that is happening, um, you can imagine having your own TV dome at home. If you don't have rubber TV sets, we, we, do the we do our best to help you imagine the space that you see here. That you see here is the space that surrounds you like it surrounds me. I'm really happy that I can move around in this wonderful dome. Uh, it's infinite virtual spaces in all directions. And um, we are very happy that, of course, today we'll have another great visitor to the dome that I'll be happy to call in and right now I don't know will he show up from the front or from this end or from that end or maybe even from behind I don't know this is the surprise in the TV dome but I know that um, we are programmed to uh, make Pedro Zaz appear by making this snap with my fingers and um, there he is yes Pedro hello hello how do you do Um, can you say it again? Because we had no audio. I am very, very yeah. happy to be here today. <laughs> okay, that's good. Well, welcome to the TV Dome. You are in Brazil, you are born in Portugal, but whenever I see what you're doing, you can be found in Moscow, in, in Plymouth, in London, in Berlin even, sometimes even in Jena. Um, what are you doing right now in Brazil? Uh, in Brazil, I'm doing one thing called the summer, which is really important, you know, and this is actually the summer season. So one way uh, I found as a digital artist to survive in the world of capitalism today was to have two seasons. So now it's high season in Brazil, and when I go back to Europe in summer, it's high season again. So I managed to have two high seasons, which is really good. Okay, you are a global visual artist. Uh, traveling with the seasons and uh, mostly missing the, the cold seasons that we have in Europe right now. Visual art, that is the key. You are a visual artist. Uh, you do VJing, you do um, video mapping, projection on, on, on buildings. Um, how does a visual artist, an internationally successful visual artist, get intrigued by the full dome medium? Oh, I think it was a little bit the other way around, oh. you know. I got to visual artists because of domes. It was a very simple fact in my life. This was 1998, Lisbon, Expo 1998. One of the first mobile full domes in the world was there in the virtual reality pavilion, Expo 98 in Lisbon, you know. So I was a kid at the time, a teenager. I had some car key. Uh, I mean, a car that I could get in in some of the places. And I got in uh, in this amazing virtual reality pavilion, and they have a room called the Artifact Room. And this was a full dome in 1998. And honestly, I thought the whole world outside Portugal was like that. And then soon <laughs> I found out it wasn't. That was one of the first in the world. So I was lucky enough to be on the first train of uh, artists being influenced by this wonderful medium, you know. So it was just a matter of time until I got professionally in, and, until uh, to the full dome industry. This happened in 2009. So it took me 10 years to be able to even think about something of full dome, but definitely uh, I just got to visual arts with the aim to get to domes one day, you know, that was definitely one of the most important things in my life. Okay, now that's, I'm very happy to hear this. So, so you're of the generation that came to the visual arts through the dome and you expected the world to be dome-like uh, everywhere. <laughs> and actually we are working hard to get this achieved. Actually, yes, um, and this I, is... Ca I can only I yeah, this, this is a good you. example. We are in the TV dome. People imagine to be surrounded by all these visu visuals. And actually, the visuals Maybe. that you see here are your own United VJ visuals. So this is what happens when you really dive into the visual world. 
Now, you coined a phrase that I like very much. It's called the spherical revolution. The spherical yes. revolution. This is kind of transcending capitalism and flat earth arts through, through what? Tell us about the spherical revolution. Well, you know, this, uh, this was something that I've noticed, uh, that uh, it wasn't just about the dome, it wasn't about the virtual reality or the ambisonic sound or the 3D sound. This was much bigger than the human race, to be honest. You know, and this is the, the ultimate format we all see in generations to come, in my opinion, which is a spherical thing around your head. Call it dome, call it virtual reality, call it augmented reality, MR, XR, whatever R. It will always be a sphere, which is our natural habitat. It's a sphere. We hear and we listen, spherical. So, you know, it's basically technology caught up with us. And this was when I realized that I had something very powerful in my hands. Together with the United VJs, we developed a software called Blended Dome VJ for making dome mapping accessible to everyone. And somehow we managed to do that. We sold the software for over 50 countries. And that's when I realized this is more than just a software or just an idea. This is a serious revolution. People is buying into this thing. And it's more than just a commerce, more just, just an industry. It's everything. So, and when you have something so astonishing and so overwhelming as such, you only believe it's something that is going to change a generation. It is changing us already. Change me, and more to come. And I was obviously not the first one, not so ever. So, you know, I'm just waiting for the next generations to pop up. Okay, they are already uh, almost there. And uh, in the in the old days, when I was young. We were celebrating the here and now, and with the arrival of the domes, we are celebrating the sphere and now. Do you agree? I hope so. It's a, it's a bad pun, but anyway, I'll try my best. Um, but from the sphere and now, the spherical revolution, from realizing that the world changes through changed perception, through a enhancement of consciousness that encompasses surround vision, peripheral things that integrates uh, things that are not commonly seen on TV or in your mind. You also have founded a very great institution called the VJ University. Um, how can I enroll? What do I learn at the VJ University? Well, uh, we realized very soon um, in Manchester, when I lived there for many years, uh, I studied there, and one of my first crazy business ideas was to take education to people because universities uh, fail to deliver practical things to make um, practitioners uh, making money. And this was something that was really strange because you spend a lot of time in uni and you might not really live ready for the industry. And we believe at VJ University that we have this. In a few more hours, in a few modules, we teach the tricks. Right is actually what you need to go out there and make some money and make some art. So, you know, somehow we realized this and then we went to all over the world. We started here in Brazil with sponsorship from a whiskey company, which I cannot tell the name, obviously, oh. because we are on the Dome TV. So basically, whiskey, a beverage, pay us, United VJ is a great sum to do a education project. So this is what we came up with. And since then, this was our over seven years, we have done it in uh, US in several cities in the US, Europe, all over the place. We're going to do the next one in, in Espinho, in Portugal, the 21st of April. And it's going to keep on. So this year is somehow special because we're keeping it a little bit for ourselves. We have a new projects coming up. So what we're really happy to, to realize is that there was over 500 students all over the world as teaching them, as it being from Brazil with Brazilian software, with Brazilian accents, you know, being all over the world, teaching people how to map domes and what to expect when they create dome content and what's the industry like, etc. From zero to hero. And this was actually what we came up with and it's working out quite well because over 500 people, you know, it's quite a, low, a big number for an independent company. Well, great, and for an independent university also. Um, exactly. So, what, what is what is the website that people can inform 
themselves it's about uh, vjuniversity.com.br from brazil uh, so from you, brazil. over okay. there you, yeah vjuniversity.com.br over there you can track our workshops we have one for the 10 years of the United VJs. It's our 10th anniversary, just like Mercer. Yes. <laughs> and uh, we're going to commemorate it in a special way by sharing these amazing new master classes with audio, lasers, and lights, and domes, and video mapping, and, and, and everything and possible and, in the and, world of video and art. And people in the world, as you see this, and you, as you see this enthusiastic Pedro Sass, the visuals that you see around you in your rubber TV, this is the stuff that you can learn how to produce as your own uh, home VJ or as a successful, prosperous visual artist. And so uh, check around when, when the VJ University comes to town and join that program. Um, I'm also happy, of course, c congratulations to 10 years of United VJs. I congratulated Dan for 10 years of uh, Immersa. And uh, we, from the Fulham Festival in Jena, we congratulate ourselves to the 12th International Jena Fulham Festival. And of course, this is why this program is brought to you by the nonprofit Fulham Festival Foundation, which uh, enhances and supports projects like this. So, um, looking into the future, Pedro, I see you looking into the future all the time. But uh, where do you want to be ah, living and acting and visualizing? Um, uh, well, you know, I, I guess we cannot. I guess we cannot change the planet, <laughs> and we have to all live here. So we have to live together. So I guess what I really see, which uh, it's a basic thing, it's a sphere, isn't it? Front Pictures in Ukraine just did it. They did a sphere, a dome sphere, a spherical dome, you name it. This is the future. It's the natural habitat for the human being. And uh, call it uh, a rave, call it education program, call it um, a planetarium, call it a VR cinema. I think the future is pretty simple. It's a sphere around our heads, either in a theater or in some glasses with augmented reality. Stop looking at the phones because it gives you back pain. So I guess the only natural position is going to be looking straight, having some glasses to enhance this. Obviously, it's going to happen. And that will be a sphere with media, maybe projected to your cornea or projected through a glass. We don't know yet, but you know, it's there already. So I guess uh, mixing both, it's the future. Um, you have augmented reality inside the dome. So you're watching the piece in the dome and you look all around you and the piece just keeping on. Yeah, so I, I mean, guess that's I'm... when all technologies will be merged, <laughs> when you have your personal eyeglass in the planetarium working for the content as an art piece, that is the future. Thank you. I totally agree. And I hope you also agree that there's one reason why I'm just um, walking around in the studio. A, I love it to walk around. And B, I think uh, one of the big impediments for the future of Planet Arms is the existence of chairs. Once the ch you get away with the chairs, you can dance, you can lie, you can sleep, you can dream. All Please. these things get much more freedom to move and, uh, and to move into those mental and virtual and real spaces with love and emotion and uh, dome-like uh, beauty that surrounds us all the time. Sometimes you just close your eyes and it's there. Sometimes you open your eyes and you find yourself in the TV dome Sounds. at the Salve Studio with uh, Pedro Zas, live from Brazil, giving enthusiastic perspectives towards a future of spherical, dome-like, lovable planets and so uh, the world is round. And um, yes, yes, it's your, it's your own United VJ stuff. So Pedro, thank you very much for joining us from Brazil. It's a pleasure to talk to you. And uh, we'll to meet to you here, guys. here and, and to there. Talk to and you, Miki. I wish you the best luck for the festival. And I can only congratulate you and say thank you because you were a big inspiration you know, for all of us. So well then, and now with the Dome TV, we all have to make Dome TVs now. <laughs> That's right, <laughs> we're starting today. Okay, Pedro, take care, uh, goodbye, and say hi to Brazil. Okay, thank you, bye-bye. Bye. And this, my ladies and gentlemen, made Pedro disappear. Of course, he's not gone. And we are also now in a position where I can sort of 
wrap up myself and, and make myself disappear. Goodbye, good night, good morning. See you soon in the dome again.